Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so welcome to 2023. We're all very new here. So um, I thought I'd show you uh, what I have on as far as uh, a new look for 2023. Three. And uh, I started with the next Born to Glow in the pink as far as my primer. Went ahead and used the Pretty Fresh by uh, ColourPop and 30 Fair and the Pretty Fresh Concealer as well. So some oldies, um, oldies but goodies as far as my base there. And then as far as what I went ahead and did for blush, I went ahead and started with the Wet and Wild and this is their pink. So that's the way that that one looks and as far as a cream. And then I did go ahead and put a powder over it. I used the Delight and this one's by Tarte. So I went ahead and put this powder over it in an attempt to keep the blush on instead of having it disappear um, about halfway through the day for me. I also used ColourPop uh, Flexitarian Highlighter and mixed it with the Out of Quartz. So yeah. I have a lot on my cheeks today. Um, I did also do a bronzer, and this one is by Flower Beauty. It is their Sunrise Bronzer, and so that's what I have on there. Um, moving on into the eyes, uh, one of the newer one of the new products I have is the Essence Make Me Brow in dark brown, and that's what I have on my brows today. And it was actually a little bit of a, yeah, I had to um, go ahead and make sure that I got the same amount on each brow. It wasn't a seamless process. It's been a while since I did anything darker with my brows, where I actually had to pay attention a lot. Um, I also use the Essence Volume Stylist, the 18-hour wear. This is the Chubby Mascara, so that's what I have on there. I do have a new ColourPop palette on my eyes, and that is the Pretty Please palette by ColourPop. Just came out. Uh, there was a nine pan one called Petals, and I didn't go to that one. Um, that one was 14, and that's a nine pan. The 12 pan palette was 18, so I just would rather have more colors, especially with a classic. Yeah, this is classic ColourPop all the way, and I really like it. So um, what I went ahead and did as far as my eye look, I took this one right under the brow, uh, this one on the inner corner. I used this one on my base, and I like it as a base. Um, I did, when I first got the palette, I used this one as a base. It came out very purple. And by using this as my base, uh, this dark rose, I got a um, much pinkier look, which I'm actually liking. Um, I used this one on the inner corner, then this one on the lid, this one actually right on the brow bone, and uh, this one right under um, as far as an eyeliner. So yeah, um, I used a lot of the colors. I think that they, they're all very pretty. And um, oh, I used a little bit of this in the outer corner as well. I forgot about that. So I did use a lot of colors from this palette. This is the way that the eye look came out. So um, again, ColourPop kind of, they're making palettes to kind of go ahead and replace the palettes that are now getting older and you aren't able to find on the ColourPop website, or at least that's what it feels like. And so, um, yeah, here's uh, Pretty Please, the new one. Here's Bye Bye Birdie. And um, yeah, if you need to buy a repa replacement palette, I think that you could probably go ahead and do that with this palette. Um, you don't necessarily have the peach tones, but a lot of the rest of it's going to be the same. And it's a classic ColourPop palette is what it is. And it's just very, very pretty with those tones that ColourPop does really, really well. They also have a program going on on their website where you can get um, single shadows for free if you want replacements. And I thought that that was a really good idea, too. So, um, yeah, um, it's 
sad that some of these color pop palettes are actually getting to be older. Um, I'm going to take a quick break to put a little lip gloss on. Didn't realize it's gone. Quite that dark, but it did. So, um, yeah, I have uh, Oma by Sharon C that you can get at Walmart in the cashew on as far as the lip color today. And yes, my eyebrows are a little bit darker. And yes, I did have to play with the color to make sure that I got the color the same because who knew that I had one eyebrow a little bit darker than the other brow. <laughs> who has that? But apparently I did. So I had to go back and work with it to make sure I got it the same. And um, I think that's the whole video for today. So uh, thank you. Um, wishing you well as far as 2023 goes. And thank you and have a great day. Bye.